doing? Great, it's awesome. Um, I'm Kyra Villanueva, and I'm a software engineer intern at Agrilis. Agrilis is a startup that focuses on indoor farmers, so we're basically aggregating their data and creating predictive models for better yields. I'm also a research assistant at the Lamont Dougherty Earth Observatory, where I'm creating a database for their seeds. Um, that laboratory for, focuses on climate change and extracting cores. And I'm a computer science major at Columbia University. So today I'll be talking about um, web scraping using Scrapey. So basically, what is web scraping? Um, web scraping is a technique to extract information from the websites, and it's usually translating unstructured data into structured data. So unstructured data would be in the form of HTML, and then turning that into structured data set, which, is, uh, which can be later used and saved in um, spreadsheets or databases. Some examples of uh, web scraping, um, people have probably done this before, is uh, just physically copying and pasting anything from the web, like from Wikipedia page, like right click, copy and paste. Um, you can use like Unix grep with regular expressions. That's one way to copy stuff from the web. Um, other way to copy things is through using Scrapey, uh, that software, or you can use uh, computer web visual analyzers. So these are just some examples of what web scraping can actually do. So like, let's say that you want to you're looking for a video game, or you want to get like the best bang, bang out of your buck. So, I I like horror games, so um, it'll behoove me if I go to GameSpot, IGN, etc., all these like game websites, and kind of like add that in and scrapey, and kind of like extract all the prices from there, and I can create my own like little application that gives me like the best price for that instead of like you know browsing through Steam sales, or you can even go through Steam and add that into their website and like aggregate all that prices in. Um, what are data for the week? Um, let's say that you're researching um, climate or your variable requires like climate and you don't have any sensors. So you can pinpoint the coordinates for that specific region and grab data from that using NOAA, um, National Ocean Atmospheric Association, where they have a bunch of like data sets for data. And for today, uh, we'll be going through a list of conifers, so we're extracting um, just pine trees, uh, just like a simple table. Um, this is like just like straight up HTML. Uh, for installing Scrapey, there are a couple of requirements that you need. So it's currently unstable with Python 3. It's very stable with Python 2.7. Um, with Python comes pip. Um, LXML comes with most Linux distribution and OpenSSL um, comes with most software systems except Windows. So once you have all of this, then you can move forward with like installing Scrapey. Um, this, you can just like open up your terminal, um, install Scrapey. So um, I'm gonna go to my terminal. I already have Scrapey installed, as you can tell. Um, I'll just show a bunch of commands. It's already running in my computer. So before we get to scraping, um, what exactly is Scrapey? So verbatimly, like word for word for, um, from like the Scrapey document, because I guess they worded it like pretty well. Um, Scrapey is an application framework for crawling website and extracting structured data, which can be used for a wide range of useful applications, like data mining, information processing, or historical archival. Um, you can find out more through scrapey.org. Um, and if you want to see a list of global commands that Scrapey have, um, you can type up in your terminal this. So. Let's say I want to know what start project is or what it does. I can just say scrapey start project dot dash h. So it will give you what it does. Um, this is how you're going to start a scrapey project, scrapey start project, and your project name. You can add whatever project name, but it will be good if it's like relevant to what you're doing. Um, and then it tells you what it does, create a new project, and these are other things that you can do with it. So um, yeah, we're we're gonna this is basically just like the structure of Scrapey. So like the first is like the root folder, 
that's where you're going to be running your, your um, crawl, crawl bots. Um, you have your configurations, and then you have uh, like the folder where your items are, your field items are there. If you want to configure your bot further, you go to settings.py, and the rest of your spiders are located in your spiders folder. So let's, uh, let's build a bot. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, um, all right, so we're gonna build the bot now. So go to whichever directory you feel comfortable in. Um, I'm just gonna go on my desktop. And to start a project, you basically say, Scravy, start project. Um, I'm gonna title it conifers because we're gonna be scraping conifers uh, or pine trees. So right here, it's telling me, okay, great, you have your um, scrapey project started. You can CD into your conifers or your scrapey project and start creating your bot. So I have Sublime in my, I use Sublime, so I'm just gonna use Sublime to open up that. Right. So now I'm given this whole like file of uh, with like a bunch of repos. So what you want to look at is uh, the spiders folder that it comes with. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to save that as conifersspider.py. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clone the web page for uh, the list of plants. So the list of plants is right here. So this is what I want. So this is what I'm gonna be scraping. Basically all like the genus and species and the common names of like the conifers, like all of these stuff. Like one thing about this is that, uh, I guess like one awesome thing about like scraping is that once you have like a lot of information or a lot of things, instead of like, like I could copy and paste all of this, but like what if like this kept scrolling all the way down to the bottom or you're just, it's just endless. Uh, that's where scraping really comes in handy because you all have, you have a lot of this data that you can just say, hey, I want all of these plants. So I'm gonna import scrapey. Uh, then I'm gonna create a class called conifers spider. I'm gonna name my bot conifers and then allow domain for that is, I believe it's great plant picks. I'm just gonna copy this. Okay, so that's where like the source domain will be. And then my start URL, so you can add um, as much start URL as you want. But since we're only working with one web page, I'm gonna only add this one. So right now we're basically cloning this whole HTML page. Um, all right. I'm gonna create a function of parse, pass in self and response. Um, and then for here, I'm gonna create a file name. Um, and I'm just basically saying that like, I want this thing right here, this file name. Well, let's split. I'm gonna split that based on the backslashes. Um, I only want by plant type. Then we're gonna add an extension file called .html. Uh, you wanna open that file. So a file name, and then we want to write to it. Um, and then write to it as response.body. So uh, what this does is it basically clones the web page. This clones the web page. Um, 
So if I go back to my terminal and I change the directory into the root directory and I say scrapey crawl confers. Um, spider is not designed. Sorry, I'm just going to reference my thing here. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. Yes. Sorry. So you have all of this. So it basically copied the whole uh, web page. Um, um, and then I can look that up, open this up. And that's basically it. You have like the whole web page right there. So that clones the whole web page. Um, now, if you want to start looking into, let's say that like I want to take in all of this data. So like what like the definition of web scraping before is like it's one thing to like clone the whole web page, but what if you just like want that raw, raw data, right? So uh, you want to look at the fields. So I'm going to create fields here. So I want the common name. So scrapey that field. And I want the genus. And I also want the species. So this is just creating fields properties for like our conifer items. So we go back to the conifers here, uh, comment that out, save that, and I'm just going to create like the same function, same name. Um, and then for every item in this table, I'm going to create uh, a conifer item with the properties of genus, species, and their common names. So for cell in response.xpath. So it's using it, XHTML to grab like the data from it. Um, it's like, it. so one thing to do this is like, you really have to look at, or like be really specific about um, what you're extracting. So let's say that this is the body. So like, this is where I'm starting. I'm starting at the body of um, the body of like this table. So it's T body. Um, and then we want all we want all the rows. So that's all the rows. Then from there, I can say items equals conifers dot items. But first. Um, we have to go back here and import the conifers item. So from conifers.items, import conifers item. So it is importing this right here. Um, OK, cool. All right, so now that we have that, um, so it's basically just going to loop around in this body and like extract all of this. So. We're going to first look at the name. So select that X path. Um, I'm just going to put this here. OK. All right. So if we want the name, so we're going to look at the name right here. You can see that it has, uh, it's basically a column with a class of common names. So you want to add that into your X path.
Right. So it doesn't stop there because we don't have the text yet. So this one right here, so basically like the A link has the text. So we have to say A and then scrapey. If you say dash text, it will extract the text from that A link. So that's the name right there. Um, and then if we want the genus, we do the same thing. You just have to like reference the web page that you're looking at and keep looking through it. So it's a column with uh, a class called plant name. So So when you're like referencing classes or IDs, you have to uh, use this with the brackets. And within that, it's like the, the column has like stuff nested inside it. So like we can't get to, um, so if you go here. So this has a class plant name, and then below that you have like an A link. So inside the A link, you have like another span class called um, Abis, or uh, Abis is the content, and then the class name is genus. So you have to extract that. Um, so we have an A link, and then a span, and then the span has a class called genus um, yep inside that you can extract that <laughs> cool I'm just gonna copy and paste this the same thing I think the species the only yep so like they're within like the same like level. So I can just like change genus to species. Um, did he a class name, span, class name. All right, cool. I'm just gonna make sure it's Okay, awesome. All right, so once you have all the stuff that you want to extract, or specifically the context or the text, you can yield the item. All right, so extract name, genus, species, directly. Um, okay, cool. So I'm saving that. Um, all right, I have confers. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna go back to my terminal. Um, in the root directory again. Okay. Crawl. Um, I'm gonna tell them to scrapey crawl conifers, that's the name of your bot. Dash O um, is basically turning that data and um, asking it for a file. So if you wanna turn something into a file, so let's say I'm gonna grab this and I want it as a JSON file. Um, right, so sometimes like the items you'd have to sublime, kind of like gives me errors, so I have to type it again, indentation problems. Okay. Um, all right, so when you get like a blank screen, sometimes like you have to look into, um, into the way you're writing like the XPath, because like, like all the stuff that you're looking into that can, like create for a bunch of errors. So I'm like right here, uh, let's see. I'm gonna like look back um, and check. Okay, that's common name and then that's the A. That extract. Uh, yeah, okay. 
So the at sign goes inside. Okay, cool. So now you have all that there. Um, so that's one way of like extracting information that you have. So th this is basically a whole JSON file of the stuff that I've just like extracted. Um, you then like you can use this for your application, etc. Um, let's say I want that in a CSV file. I can do the same thing. Scraping crawl um, conifers. O so trees CSV dot CSV. And then it will show up in your root folder, and there you go. Like I have all of like the genus of each of the stuff, the name, and then the species of the conifer plants. Um, all this stuff is available online. Um, uh, and um, yeah, thank you. <laughs>